Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today we're absolutely thrilled once again. It's that wonderful time, PS Degraded Returns. It's a small one this, this week, but there's some really nice cards to show you. These are beautiful. If you want to purchase these cards, um, please um, consider messaging me. Click the link in the description. Um, go to, you know, message me on one of the social medias. They're on our eBay store as well. You can go through and check them out closer on the eBay store. If you want to see them but if you message me directly i can offer like 10 15 percent discount on the card you know maybe we can work out deals so doing it off ebay but yeah um it's time for some amazing psa grade returns these are absolutely gorgeous let's just get straight into it gotta catch them all and here once again are psa graded returns all the way from the united states we're so happy that we finally get to bring you lovely people some more psa graded returns um there's going to be a lot more coming soon i, I promise guys this is just quite this is a bit of a small one with some Couple of couple of nice things that I want to show you, and uh, very soon um, we'll be having probably like two free parters because of the sizes of the orders that we got coming back. So, but that's that's a few. Um, that's not that's that's still a while away. But very loud box noises, and yet yeah, fresh PSA returns. I have not even seen these. Had a chance to look at these yet. And uh, yeah, from the lovely PSA, Professional Sports Authenticators in the United States. And I'm also going to show, um, in fact, we'll talk about it now, just so I don't get it. So here is my first ever Beckett's card. So I, I like to try different things on this channel and my business and stuff. And uh, yeah, here is a Beckett Shining Charizard VMAX. So I had like two really nice copies. And I'm going to put the other one on the screen here. So this one, uh, as you can see, was a um, pristine 10. So it, was, it got almost very close to the black label, which would have made it crazy expensive. Unfortunately, it got only got, I say only, it got a 10. It was one subgrade off um, getting the black label 10. And we could have potentially got a lot more than we did for it. But it's fine um, because it's, it's fun. And we now know how to grade PSA and Beckett's. So, and here is the um, the 9.5. I might end up keeping this in my collection because it's my first ever. These are my first ever Beckett's cards that I graded. But I might just do some P Pikachu's potentially as opposed to Charizard. Um, I like Charizard, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, well, so that's the. I thought I'd show you that off. If you want to find out how to submit your own cards to Beckett's or PSA, I'm going to be doing a comprehensive video on my Patreon very soon. As well as you've still got the buying guide for um, how to buy cards directly from Japan and also the comprehensive battle styles set review. So, yeah, keep check out our Patreon if you're interested in more content and, you know, exclusive market updates, you know, and other interesting things. Um, please um, consider checking out our Patreon if you enjoy my videos. So here are the graded cards. Um, nice little stack. So when you get them for a middleman, so I must say, like it's a good thing, like if you if you're using someone like Ludkin's collectibles for PSA grading, if you use a middleman, then you get them in the nice little card sleeves. Unfortunately, they don't come without any card sleeves, so it's direct from us. But that's fine because we get to look at them for the first time. Oh my goodness, we're starting off with some fire here, guys. Got a beautiful EX Crystal Guardians Charizard Reverse Hollow. So as you can see there, you can see the EX Crystal Guardians set logo. Um, that was the old style of Reverse Hollow. Um, very popular Charizard. Um, sorry, that's my, my finger smudging smudging that. These have just come straight out of the box, so there might still be a little bit of like condensation. I'm going to wipe these down, obviously, before I you know, take photographs and sell them. But um, beautiful Charizard, and this one got a Mint 9. So this was part of a collection. I got one of every single Reverse Hollow. Um, from EX Crystal Guardians from a lovely person in the United States and uh, yeah they were in really nice condition so I got a you know a nine for the um, for the Charizard so very very happy with um, very happy with that can you stay on the stand or are you just going to keep falling off yeah it doesn't like it so we're going to put you put you at the back there <laughs> so there should be some more EX Crystal Guardians here we go so we've got the Blastoise so I submit I didn't submit all of the EX Crystal Guardians in this in this lot but I just thought you know, I just put a few of the nicer ones in now, the more popular popular Pokemon. So again, it's a bit smudgy from the condensation and, you know, the temperature changes and stuff and being wrapped in that box. But yeah, here is the Blastoise and it got a Gen Mint 10. Very, very happy with this Blastoise. Um, so fun fact, the 9 of the, of the Charizard Reverse Hollow from EX Crystal Guardians is actually um, worth more than the TSA Great Gen Mint 10 from the Blastoise just because of how popular and you know hyped charizard cards are but still a very beautiful card you know it's 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 in it's in, in flawless condition like it's very very hard to find cards any cards for you before like 2010 like trying to find them in like these kind of conditions now 
especially from some you know being left in someone's binder collection is 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 pretty it's pretty incredible i must say so yeah, very happy with those if you want to purchase any of these psa graded cards please click the link in the description head to my ebay store and um, most of these should be listed on there by the time this video goes up um i also put a lot of graded cards in my collection i don't sell all of them i, I just these are mostly going to be for selling Got to, got to do lots of stuff soon. So beautiful Venusaur again. Last of the EX Crystal Guardians Reverse Hollows. You can see the set logo there. Um, and this again, I thought all of these had a decent shot at a ten. So um, I'm happy that at least the Blastoise got a ten. That nines are still very strong for any sort of like um, vintage card. Really, absolutely beautiful. Again, just a bit of smudging on on the on the case there. But yeah, very nice um, Venusaur from EX Crystal Guardians. So. Um, I will put, um, I put the, put these two, put these three like here. Then we'll start stacking, stacking up the rest. So we got here a victory medal. So um, these were like old promo cards. I think for the equivalent of like league challenges or league cups back when Pokemon, you know, back in the day, like first, first few years of organised play in two thousand and seven. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see there you got the Pikachu. You got the special like silver it's a it's called victory medal it's like a silver medal it should really be good i think they did a gold one for one of the other years but and you can see at the bottom there battle road autumn so please leave a comment below i could probably look it up but if anyone wants to comment on the video and, and enlighten our viewers you know whether were the battle road autumn was it was it like league cups league challenges like nowadays i'd love to know and yeah beautiful card once again i got a sealed pack of these from a lovely friend of mine and um yeah, this one got a psa 9 so very happy, very happy with that. It's very tempting to keep this in my collection because Pikachu, but um, I'll see how much it's going for. And, you know, if it's available, it'll be on the eBay store. We've got some nice Japanese here. Oh, here we go, guys. Old back Japanese, Koro Koro Mew. Um, so this one, I think, had like some micro indents on it or something. Again, just a lot of lots of that, the dirt's from my from the case and stuff. Like some bends. Yeah, some damages, like some, so you probably can see like. Some tiny little holes where the lights catch. You can see like some little dinks and stuff in the card, but and it, and it was very badly off centered. But this is a, an S tier popular card, like super popular card. So to get a six on the Korokoro Mew, I'm not sad about that. Um, I've got an eight point five in my yeah, I know an eight point five. I've got an eight point five in my collection at the moment, but everyone loves Shining Mew. This is probably like the best exclusive Japanese promo of all time, like probably outside of Pikachu's. Like this is probably one of the most best promos of all time we've ever had. I absolutely love the Mew. Um, it's just a, it's just a, you know, a beautiful card, and it's perfect for just display. You know, all PSA grades don't have to be like eight nines and tens all the time. You know, it's just, it's just a beautiful, just a beautiful card. Um, what do we have here? Some Japanese <gasps> players ceremony. So this is really cool. So this card um, is was only given out uh, to players who got a certain amount of ranking points. Um, I had an issue with my phone there. So this um, card was only given out to a certain amount of players who reached a certain tier of ranking points in 20 uh in the 2020 season just before like the poke the organized play got cancelled because of the coronavirus you can see there in the background you've got glaring zigzagoon and elder goss a lot lots of pokemon from like sword and shield like the first two sets that saw saw some play i'm not sure why i'm not sure why al cream is there but you know mad party you got frost moth snom you got Grookey, you know, zigzag, lots of really cool Pokemon that I've been using decks, and yeah, not many. There was a few of the players got these, but not as many as could have done because obviously the season got cancelled half early. And yeah, player ceremony cards are very popular now. They're sort of like budget trophy cards. You can see there the SM one two seven. It's a promo card, and I was very very happy to see this one get a PSA ten. So the price difference for ungraded isn't astronomically far off the PSA 10 price which I'm quite surprised about I think there's still quite a few of these floating about there's still um if you see like previous players ceremonies like there is you know a lot of players there was there isn't that many for 2018 or 2017 or the previous years the player ceremonies were given out so um I'm probably I'm not sure whether I'm going to list this if I do list it it'd probably be bit higher than maybe some of the other listings because i'm not going to rush to sell it because i know it's only going to go up it's beautiful it's got exclusive artwork you know pikachu's there it's, it's very it's quite a limited release for japan and yeah very happy with that player ceremony promo card so we got here a beautiful um pikachu kanazawa pokemon kanazawa pokemon Center. so you can see there again once again exclusive arts um you can see there the Kanazawa, the newest Pokemon Center that opened up like November of last year. It's not exclusive art, so they used it on the Kanazawa box promo from the Kanazawa special set. If you want to click the link above, you can see me open that beautiful box and you can see the other Pikachu. 
and uh yeah this one's absolutely gorgeous and these are very these are going to be very popular they've shot up i think you have to pay like 40 50 pounds for the canazawa's pikachu now it was like you know 15 20 if you shopped around when it first came out and that was only like six months ago so yeah very very happy to get the gem mint 10 on this um i think a lot of them were distributed in like separate sealed packs so i think i don't know maybe they were like in a bundle of 50 or 100 but either way like the print quality in japan we all know print quality for japanese pokemon cards is a lot better than obviously the english equivalent so I'm not surprised to see it get a 10 and i think majority will be 10s but there'll be a few nines i think pepperdin it's, it's it's quite a good release for promos i think they, they they all seem to be in really like sort of decent condition so what do we have here oh it's another special delivery pikachu this one is delivering another swell can you see that beautiful hollow swell at the, the bottom left there quite a few of them have swells but not all of them and um, just going to show it straight away. So this is a very hard card to get as a PSA 10. I kid you not. I believe this is the 7th or 8th special delivery Pikachu that I've had back. Eight, seven or 8 of them have been PSA 8. Sorry, PSA 9. And one of them has been PSA 8. I've not yet had a single PSA 10. And the pop report reflects this. I think on average, every 1 in 10 or 1 in 15 of these have come back as a psa 10 and i think it's mostly it's quite hard to tell on here but you can probably see maybe some like little scratches or print lines um running on the hollow of the card potentially because I've, I've had sent in a lot of like well centered like good condition ones so i think it's mostly the hollow and maybe the print lines that are letting these ones down but so don't worry too much about getting a 10 of these if you collect graded pokemon or pikachus um a nine is so we're going to be a very good a very good grade for these considering that the 10 is very hard to get hold of so yeah, I've only given out um, for a brief like week or two when the Pokemon Center in the United States were, um, they were doing, you know, promotion. You spent over $20, I think it was, in total, and you got one of these included with your, with your package. And lots of people, including myself, um, you know, bought a bunch of stuff from the United States Pokemon Center and, you know, got some special delivery Pikachus. And yeah, I, you, I, in my guide for buying cards from Japan, if you click the, if you go to my Patreon, and the video also will cover a section on how to buy cards from the United States, if you, and buy stuff from the United States, if you're not based in the United States. Okay, I'm going to finish off strong here with not one, but <laughs> two gobbled up Pikachu um, PSA 10. So this was only given out in the um special coco box do i have the box i actually have the box right here, here me i was planning to open this at some point but i never got around to it um i think yeah because it's japanese i'm not like rushing to open every japanese product but you can see here pokemon the movie coco it's got the pikachu and the cramorants and the, and the special art in there um so this box contains um some booster packs a special celebi coin and the um this this exclusive pikachu which is only found inside the box i believe it was only from 7-Eleven stores in Japan. So you had to go to a very specific chain of supermarket stores in Japan and purchase that Coco box, which obviously would have sold out really quickly um, to get this promo. Ungraded, I think this is around like the $200 mark, maybe a bit more. Um, it's probably a bit more ungraded now, actually. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. And so for, I've had three backs so far and they've all been PSA 10. So once again, you know, it's in the box. It's nice and safe. And print quality once again on japanese pokemon cards you know shining through there but yeah this is just a, like a little you know a little mini psa graded returns we're going to be doing a very big one soon as soon as my july 2020 subs come back from lovely people at ludkins collectible so you know keep an eye out for that please leave a comment below have you you know has has the price changes for psa the, you know them stopping grading has any of that sort of put you off grading your cards are you grading with other companies you know have you also potentially you know considered moving to potentially like you know try out some other grading companies like beckett cgc any of the other companies please let me know your thoughts below and uh yes um please like and subscribe to the video i really do appreciate all the support and please remember to go to my ebay store if you would like to potentially purchase these beautiful cards thank you very much and i will see you soon pokemon fans go to catch more A huge thank you to our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q and A's with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Place Get Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.